Kia ora, thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from is coming at you live from the West Coast. Yet again, we have an unboxing video today, as you can see, or, or maybe you've already seen the title. We are unboxing the Ruroc Atlas 4.0. And there it is, it's a big box. It's a huge box, so let's just get into it. Presentation looks pretty good. I mean, it looks amazing. The Ruroc logo is on point, as you can see right here. And you have a little, uh, badging or a little labeling right here protection engineered uh, I got this based off of some of the other videos I've been seeing it looks like they did a fantastic job with this 4.0 it, it seems to be a lot better and you guys already know me I have a ghost bandit and it's up there of course uh, you know $500 helmet and honestly it's not even worth that so hopefully this one uh, is worth the uh, the 500 bucks so it is pretty expensive there's been some delays of course if you guys see my other video you guys already know about that but uh surprisingly i don't know if they shipped it express because it got i mean it got shipped express i don't know if everybody's been receiving their their helmet via express fedex express maybe you guys could some of you guys already have this maybe you guys could confirm this i don't know if it's because i brought up you know what what, what what had happened the delays and everything but it seems like it spent more time processing than it being shipped which is surprising that is really surprising most packages shipped overseas you're looking at about 10 to 14 days this one was held up at uh, customs for about a day and it, it got to me within <laughs> within 24 hours of it being cleared from from customs which is surprisingly so i don't know maybe someone out there in the comments you guys can confirm or deny that uh that uh, they're shipping this uh, via Express FedEx, which is pretty good. And I only paid about 27 bucks for shipping. So what is this? Insert premium audio here. What is this? I don't know what this is. Maybe I got to scan this or maybe some kind of a shockwave. I, I didn't get the shockwave. So maybe this is just something that they ship with all their helmets. And the box is blacked out, which is pretty cool. Let me uh, turn this upside down. That is a good looking box. I did order a uh, I did order a visor with this and I'm I guess it's in here. I don't see it, but let's see what's inside. Of course the the the, uh, the box is pretty cool. Uh, the presentation of it, you have this nice subtle matte black with some highlighted high gloss black to uh, just give it a like a really neat look like classy look at this even the inside is like this gray welcome to Ruroc. that's pretty cool oh look at this that's a nice little landscape right there i don't know i mean is that uk i don't know i i, I don't think uk is known for for hillside or, or for mountain uh mountain uh scenery i don't know i i, I haven't been to uk and designed engineered in the united kingdom Wow, this is really neat. It's got a it has this nice, beautiful landscape. That's that's gorgeous. I'm a huge photographer fan. I mean, not a it's my hobby, and I, I used to shoot a lot of landscaping. So let's see what else is in here. Let's go ahead and pull the helmet out. But it looks like there's my gold visor. It looks a little matte. It's not uh, it's not like a chrome finish look to it, or is it? Here, let's just take out a little bit. Oh, never mind. It is just the plastic made it look a little dull, but there it is. I should be using the overhead cam. So, <clears throat> yes, it is neat. As you can see, this is the gold. Uh, from what I've heard, there should be another one in here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there is another one. So, in case you were wondering, and uh, you're ordering from their website there is a, a an additional visor included in here so let's see if i can pull out the helmet this seems to be stuck i did not get the uh the foz the anti-fog what is that thing called i don't even know I, I i've never gotten it for any of my helmets i know the ghost bandit and the speed bandit you have that the pin lock pin lock anti-fog uh system that they have i never gotten it and those helmets, they do fog up quite a bit because it, it has that extended uh, chin and it's angled uh, towards the visor. So that's what I've noticed on, on those helmets that they typically do uh, tend to fog up on, on stoplights. And I'm not sure what this is. We have a few things. We have a bottle opener. That's pretty cool. It's, just, it's the same shape of the, uh, of the helmet. That's pretty neat. Look at that. That's nice. 
little Rurock keychain bottle opener. That's nice. That's neat. What else do we have in here? We have some advertising for their engine hawk. As you can see on the inside, that's their apparel. That's their uh, gear, their riding gear. They have engine hawk, uh, VIC and bikes, <laughs> beards and brews. He made a video about that. You guys should check out his channel. Hilarious. Uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't get the shock, the shock uh, wave or whatever they call it. I guess this is what that is. I, I didn't get that. I have uh, I have Plex audio, so I didn't really have much need for it. But who knows? I might get into it once I start doing some group rides with uh, with some friends out there, if I have any friends. And what is this? I don't know what this is. There's Velcro on the back, so I'm guessing something with holding something. Does that work? I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out later. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me what these are. Maybe it's for the noise on the inside of the helmet. Just to, you know, lower the noise. People were talking about how noisy this helmet is. So let's look at this extra visor. Of course, this should be the, the black one. The dark tint. And yes, it is. There it is. There's the uh, the dark tint visor. Looks pretty cool. I like it. So most helmets do not, they don't ship you with an extra visor. That's pretty neat. Uh, all of my helmets, the Gringo S, the, uh, the Speed Bandit, the Ghost Bandit, the uh, HJC, the Lane Splitter, none of them included an extra uh, visor. So this is a dark tint. This is gonna be great for, for uh, night riding. I mean, for summer riding. Typically I always have visors and lately with daylight savings time, I've been getting off and I've been having trouble looking through my through my uh, visor. So the Ghost Bandit, the Simpson one seems to be a little bit darker. The Lane Splitter, I seem to be able to see right through it a little bit easier. So anyways, getting back on the unboxing, I'm rambling. So there it is right here, Rurock. It's a matte black 4.0. It is uh, ECE certified and it has a new one. Something about the FMVSS number 218 i don't know what that is but supposedly that's the reason why they had to change the uh, the sizing of these helmets man i like the way it looks i do, i do i'm a fan of, of how this thing looks i am a fan i wonder if there's a locking mechanism on here i don't know much about these helmets guys there seems to be a little magnet on the inside right here as you can see there's a little magnet and i'm guessing let me just check this out I don't see anything on the inside, so I don't think it's magnet at all. I think it's just a regular clip. And the quality, the unboxing, it's got some neat little things here over here. I haven't seen this like lip stuff before. I haven't seen that. Uh, I know they've improved their padding. It look, I mean, this looks high quality already. Uh, the padding itself, it's nice and firm. It feels really, it feels really good. It does and on the inside as you can see high quality hopefully this thing is made in uk and it's not made in china like most of my other helmets uh, i believe the gringo is that's not made in china i believe that's made in, in taiwan but uh the locking mechanism on this thing this is new I, I haven't had this before so all right that's pretty cool i believe simsim offers a quick little detached mechanism like this okay it's a magnet that's pretty cool I like that you don't need you could take this off and put this on with your gloves on you <laughs> you would not have to um, take take your gloves off to remove this so it's, there seems to be some noise some noise uh, um, material on the inside to prevent it so I'm guessing that was part of the uh, of the redesign but man, this is a good looking helmet. All right, should we put it up against the uh, the uh, the Ghost Bandit? Here, let's grab both of them. All right, so here we have my Ghost Bandit and we have my Speed Bandit. So as you can see, matte and high gloss black with of course the same gold visor on both of them. Uh, I'm wondering which one's bigger. You could see it, I don't know, on the top the top cam you can see this the speed bandit is the smallest one between all three of them uh, just overall it's a smaller frame 
it's what I like. I'm 5'7". I'm not, you know, the tallest person. So these big helmets look a little funny on someone my size. And this looks to be a little bit shorter on the top. Maybe because it, it is angled. They look about the same, but it looks like the... Looks like the... Uh, the uh, the Ruroc Atlas is a little bit shorter on the top, maybe because of the um, the aggressive eyebrows on the Ghost Bandit, and width-wise, it looks like the uh, I would say here. Let me get up and look at it. Width-wise, it looks. I mean, they they almost look identical. They're, it's really close, but it looks like the Ruroc is a little bit narrow compared to the the Ghost Bandit. So it's not going to look too huge on me. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll have to find out. I actually have a long ride tomorrow. So it's going to be a, it's going to be about a 3 hour ride. So I'm going to I'm going to try to take the Ruroc. I'm going to take both helmets just in case. I do not know if uh, I mean cuz I haven't broken this in. I, I don't know if I'll if I'll, if I'll be able to hold if I'll be able to put up with it for for about 3 hours. It's going to be I don't want to be miserable. So this is the medium large I'm a seven and a quarter. You guys already seen my video. You guys already know that I'm a seven and a quarter. Uh, most of these helmets fit me perfectly. It's just the Ghost Bandit. 40 minutes seems to be the max I could have this for. And now I'm just rambling. So these are just minor little details. Just want to show you guys uh, what's in this. And maybe I'll do another video on installing uh, your other visor. And in case you were wondering what's in it, pretty much everything you need. And you have the smoked out visor, which is awesome. Like I said, that's probably like 70, uh, 70 bucks on their website. Uh, it looks pretty cool. You guys want to see the uh, the uh, unpeeling of this? Usually it's, it's a little satisfying to see it. So here, I'll do this so you guys can check it out. Very nice very nice so there it is i don't know you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think i'm looking forward to it i've always been a fan of the way this thing looked so if you guys were wondering some details i have some numbers so you guys are gonna have to uh watch the other video on this hidden details that you might not know about and that's just to bring you know the, the overall time of this video sh shorter so Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in for this unboxing. Uh, you guys just stay out there. Stay safe. Don't believe everything you read. Life's a risk. Get out there and ride. Later.